Hi, Eddie. Six six changes in personnel to the team. Can, can you just talk us through your your thinking for this team selection, please? Uh, well, it's the best 23 for this game, mate. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we've got a few knocks and bruises from the last game. Um, and and this 23 is the right 23 to play against Italy. You know, a very young team, but a very good team. A great opportunity for some for some players to start the game instead of finishing the game. Um, and we're looking forward to this combination of lighting up Rome, mate. Sure. Can you just talk about the scrum half? What are you hoping to see from Harry Randall, please? Uh, yeah, well, we've been really pleased with Harry Randall. Um, yeah, Benny started for us last week. We've just reversed the roles there. Uh, yeah, he's a live wire halfback. He's he's very good in broken play. He's got a good solid pass on him, and his kicking game's improving. And Luke Cowan uh been named on the bench. Is, is that a reflection of his penalty try at uh, Murrayfield at all? No, not at all, mate. Uh, he hasn't been able to train this week. Um, he'll start. He did a little bit today, um, and we've got two very good hookers there, mate. Yeah, one starts and one finishes. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, Duncan, Julian Guy, please. Uh, morning, Eddie. Um, can you just talk talk us through your um, back row combination? What was the thinking thinking in in that lineup? Yeah, well, we, when we look at the team, we try to maximise our resources. Uh, Sam Simmons played very well at number eight, but we're going to finish with him this week. We want to see Alex Don Brandt playing a game that we think will really suit him, uh, which you know, against Italy, they tend to be more open, uh, unstructured type games. So we feel that it's a great game for him to start at number eight. Uh, Curry picks himself at seven, and then we've gone for a, for a, a big six. Uh, we want to get a bit more running out of Maro in terms of his attack, and this is a great opportunity for him. Thank you. Good evening, please. Hi Eddie, how are you doing? You've changed up your midfield again this week. We're moving Joe in, in, in from wing to to midf midfield. Can you tell me what you're looking for from Joe this week and what you're expecting from Jack coming onto coming onto the wing as well, please? Yeah, well Joe's a you know he's a good strong runner. Um, he can hit the front line really well, which we maybe missed a little bit last week. But given that he had such a restricted training time, it was difficult for him to play 13 last week. So. Elliot uh, will move back to the as a finisher, and Jack Knowles, yeah, had two solid weeks of, or three solid weeks of training with us. Now we believe he's fully fit uh, and ready to play, and he's got that that work rate, that bounce in his step. I haven't seen him this sharp since probably two thousand sixteen. Okay, and you've got a new name on the bench, then, and Ali Chasm. Can you can you give us an insight into what he's like? What what sort of a character is he? Yeah, he's a workhorse, mate. Yeah, he's a. He's a traditional six-stroke four, hard worker, good basics, likes doing the tough stuff. Thanks, Liam. Uh, we'll finish up there with Martin Gillingham, thanks. Eddie, um, Henry Slade, 12 on his back. Is that his best position, or should we just simply ignore the number on his back? In other words, is it just really a, a numberless back line again? 100%, mate. The latter. Yep. Thank you. Hi, Jeremy. We've got a question for the live, yeah? Yeah, hi, Eddie. Just on Italy, they've uh, lost their last 33 in the Six Nations. I mean, what are you expecting this weekend? Uh, well, they're a world coach team, mate. Um, I think they've made some really rapid progress under Kieran Crowley, who's who we know is a very good coach. You know, he's his case successfully at Canada, did a great job with uh, uh, Benetton Treviso, knows the Italian rugby culture, uh, speaks a little bit of bad Italian. I wouldn't say it's good Italian, but he speaks speaks Italian um, and is a good man to lead them. You know, great rugby knowledge. And they've got some good young players coming through. If you look at the, the history of their 20s over the last four or five seasons have done exceptionally well. And, and now they're getting guys like Gabrizi coming through and being good enough to keep uh, a World Cup winner in Pollard on the bench at Montpellier. Lamaro, the seven, is a very tough, strong competitor and, you know, would make most international teams. And Negri, you know, he's, he's got all that Zimbabwean beef uh, with the Italian accent. He brings a bit of 
bit of carry to the bit of front foot rugby to their to their to their pack. So yeah, they're not a team you can underestimate. You have to play well to beat them, and I'm, I'm sure on on Sunday, Kieran's going to have them well prepared.